Hearts are back in Europe. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Home and Away. I am here in Edinburgh for Hearts versus Fiorentina. It does not get bigger than this, especially for a club like Hearts. Fiorentina, we all know who they are. Serie A giants, they've come to Edinburgh. I've just landed in Haymarket and I am waiting on a special guest. Mr Hearts, some may call him. Uh, he was actually on it a couple of weeks ago, take a guess before you see him, if you know who it actually is. I'm actually going to go over and see this memorial, very special. There's a memorial that Hearts actually had built next to Haymarket train station um, for the World War One veterans, so let's go over and see that. <laughs> you sort of hear it. Right, we are here with Aidan Fraser himself. Hello, you would have seen him on the Scotland vlog. And if you want to know anything about Hearts, he's your man. Go and give him a follow on Twitter. I'll put... Yeah. Aaron Fraser 37 but tonight as a Hearts fan I've mentioned it I mentioned it in a lot of videos it doesn't get bigger than this right but let's be honest here it does not get bigger than this I mean I've been lucky enough to see us play Spurs and Liverpool in Europe but we've never had a chance in those games that's something we do if, if Hearts win it'll be like a carnival I've said it in one video as well it's going to be mental if Hearts win tonight go on yourself bye <laughs> the goal gave vandalizer <laughs> Right, you're watching. I'm stopping you for two seconds because I'm going to ask you a massive, massive favour. So, I have been voted into the final eight for the UK Best Young Content Creator. I'm going to the finals in Manchester in less than a month, but voting for the final eight is still open and ends this Sunday. All you need to do is click the link in the bio. It will take you there and it will take you two seconds. Click the drop box, click Blair McNally, go down to the bottom, Click vote now, that's you. Done, dusted, and it will be massive for me. I need every single vote I can get. We've got one week left. Please help me out. So I've just left Aaron. He is off to the Shandon now. I am going to go to the stadium and get a couple of interviews. Right, boys. What's your name? Don. Jake. Tonight, massive game. What's the score going to be? 2-0. 2-0. Two 0 Do you want who's scoring? No! Right, we've got a viewer of the channel. What's your name? Uh, Alfie. Alfie. Tonight, is this going to be a good atmosphere? Yeah. I think it's going to be two one. I think it's going to be two one. Who's scoring? Oh, and Alfie, have a great game. Enjoy, my man. Tonight's game is absolutely huge. Hearts currently sitting second after a win against RFS. Group favourites Fiorentina are actually bottom of the group. They've yet to record a win in this group, so they've got one point. Hearts currently sit on three. Hearts win this. They're going to make their chances of qualifying into the knockout stages of the UEFA Europa Conference League. Massive. Tonight is absolutely huge for both teams. Fiorentina need to win this game tonight if they want a chance. Hearts, it isn't a must win, but it's a big big result if they do get this one let's go get a program speak to some of the fans and get to the shandon for this march i am absolutely buzzing let's go there is the maroon jersey that hearts will be wearing tonight Cheers. just before i head to the shandon look at this just a moment for Hearts' new main stand. It's an absolute thing of beauty. There's actually a bar up here, rooftop bar, and then look inside here. Wow. And we are going to be in over there. So I am outside the ground with Francesco. Francesco, where have you travelled from today? Uh, I've come from, from Prato, it's, it's a neighbouring city of Florence, so right next to Florence. Uh -huh. So today it is a must win for Fiorentina, isn't it? You've got a star studded lineup, um, but it's not been working as of late in Serie A or in the group stage. 
Yeah, you know, we're, we're quite disappointed at the moment. Um, the game tonight is a bit of a turning point. Like, if we if we win tonight, we we can hope to 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 pass the group stage. Otherwise, um, I don't know. I don't think we we're gonna go further in the Conference League. What do you think is a problem at the moment? Uh, a couple of couple of things. Um, we we lost two of, of the best players last year, Blahovic and uh, Torreira, uh, and. Um, the guys who came uh, after them are good, but um, the mix just hasn't hasn't worked yet. Uh, we hope we can it can work soon. Yeah. English is very good. What is your score prediction? Uh, I would say one 0 for us. But who's going to score? Jovic. Jovic. I believe in him. <laughs> uh, a couple of guys in Florence are already losing hope, but yeah. I still believe in him. So. Thank you very much for joining me. Enjoy the game, okay? Chocolate lover's dream. Look at that. I think it's only right I get a chippy out of this place before heading off to a hearts game. Let's go. Can I get salt and vinegar, please? And uh, tomato sauce on the chips, please. I don't really get hungry. I just know. I'm absolutely starving, so I've just got a proper Scottish dinner, as you do in Edinburgh, and I'm going to scan this and get to the Shandon. Let's go. I'll tell you a fun fact about Edinburgh. They ask you if you want salt and sauce instead of salt and vinegar on your chips. I said salt, vinegar and sauce. Boys, how big is this game tonight? Uh, really big. Trying to get six points in the table. Aye, massive. Uh, massive game. Yeah. What's the score going to be quickly? 2-1 or 3-1 hearts. 2-1, 3-1 hearts. Aye, thanks. 2-0. Aye, who's scoring? Hearts, who's scoring? Yeah. You've already been on the vlog. <laughs> Double team. Aye, uh, Shankland and... Shankland and Pedalway and... Bye, McKay. Good man. Enjoy the game, right? Oh, 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 You'll remember this face from Edinburgh and set the clip now. What a slip that was, Stevie G's down. Big man, how big a game is this tonight? Oh, a huge game tonight. Win the night, we've got a very good chance of progressing. What's your score going to be? Can you do it? I want to say, we can scrape a win tonight. I want to say, 1-0. 1-0. Who's scoring? Try not slipping one, right? Right, team lines are out. Right, we're well, just out of the Shandon, waiting on the march now. Boys, how big a game is this tonight? Fiorentina, Serie A Giants, obviously. Can they get the result quickly? Score prediction? 5-1 hearts. 5-1 hearts, right? 2-1 hearts. 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 2-1 h
Fiorentina are star studded, but that means absolutely nothing. Hearts, it's a sellout. Nothing stopping them tonight. If the fans are like this throughout the game, they've got every chance they can get. And we are back. Half an hour to go till kickoff. Let's get in and see the real atmosphere. Before we get into the stadium, I would like to thank today's sponsors, Fanbase. If you don't know anything about Fanbase, let me give you a little bit more information. Do you feel like you're 5-0 down when you're trying to interact with your club online? Fanbase exists to make this process a whole lot easier. Fanbase allows clubs to manage digital ticketing, VIP hospitality, memberships and content in one platform. What does it mean for the fan? One login and one platform for everything you need to support the club and it offers an excellent digital experience similar to that of top clubs. Fanbase has partnered with over 50 clubs in Scotland. If you think your club should be using Fanbase, then refer them through the link below and you can get commission from the first year. Let's get something to eat before we get in. I'll need that. Need a drink right now. <laughs> right, there is no chance I'm getting in at half time, so just want to get myself something to eat. How cool is this? We took by, I get a Fanta as usual. Shankland are starting, 
Devlin misses out, Devlin isn't starting, I don't know why. So let's get into the game and see how this atmosphere pans out. This should be an absolute cracker. Turns out my luck, I'm right next to the boys with the drum. So should that be able to play. Let's go. This should be a crack atmosphere. Drum there, boys there, Fiorentina fans over there. Let's get into it. Going to try my wee tight castle pie now. Review, you come at the end of the game. Look at that. What a spectacle that is. Look at that. Fiorentina, just a straight ball in and a header. Three minutes into the game. Terrible marking there, just free header. It's a handball. No way. Look at that handball outside of the box here. Don't know how that's not given. Can I just say, Tank Castle under the lights is one of the most beautiful things you see. 
Oh! Just something different, so different about this stadium. It's enclosed, it's a proper fortress. Let's hope it can make a difference. <laughs> are getting absolutely everything right now. Jesus. Every single decision. Hearts fans are trying their best to explore the team on. Just noticed this on my jacket. The things I do for YouTube are poor jacket. Just on the stroke of half time, turn off your container. This is that one. Oh, oh! Oh, big save! Massive save! Come on, Hearts. Go before half time. Corner! Come on! Can they get a goal before half time? Get ourselves back into the game. Ah, poor. Very, very poor. That's half time there. Hearts fans not happy. Right, half time here at Queen Castle. Um, turned up, knew it was going to be a good atmosphere. But Robbie Nelson's team have been absolutely shocking. Fiorentina, the community midweek set the struggle from high pressing teams. So, what does Robbie Nelson's team do? Sits in. Doesn't counter and rightfully so they're 2-0 down, they've been terrible. Um Fiorentina has off them, they've dominated as expected. They've taken advantage of their chances 2-0 up. And we've seen must be about 20% of time casual is actually left before half time, so it's a weird one, it's a weird atmosphere right now. Um, there's actually fans arguing, a uh, big argument just before half time there, are fans nearly fighting. Let's see what happens in the second half, but at the moment, just not going to go, to be honest with you. Oh, it's a red card. He's off. He's off. Last man, Fiorentina, red card. That's game over for Hearts now. If they had any chance, it's gone now. Hearts down to 10, Jordan Tainer 2 0 up. Don't think we're even. A couple of minutes into the game, second half. This one's obviously not happy. Tell me, Gordon. <laughs> Good save, Gordon. Luka Jovic. £70 million player. 
Hearts are really dreadful, energy levels just not there at all. 15 minutes to go and as you can see Fiorentina just continue to dominate. They're just picking pieces at hearts. Hearts aren't doing anything. Slow, no passion or nothing. Just dead, dead in the water. Very poor cool performance tonight from Hearts. Game over. Hearts fans all leaving now. Fuck off, you son! Fiorentina fans are absolutely buzzing. Fair play then, they've been at it all night. Oh. Oh. That's it. No getting out for hearts. Right, say it's 7th minute. I've got my boy Aaron here. How are you feeling watching this? Because it's an absolute domination. We've not been good at all, to be fair. We've got a top class side, but what do you do? Nielsen in or Nielsen out? In, obviously. Seen so, you know, quite a few arguments. Fans are so, so not happy with me, Nielsen. Um, would you like me to change? Because this obviously isn't good enough. I mean, I think it's just a matter of being scared and against, obviously, world class opposition. I think it's just not sure that. They're a great team. Foreman is always disappointed, but the call for his head is ridiculous. Aye. Nobody's at all. Well, it's a long way to go. Ten Castles, absolutely. Packed as we can see. Five minutes to go, let's see if Hearts can maybe get a goal. Who is our tower? Thank you. Full time here. Hearts embarrassing to say the least. Fair play to Fiorentina. They came in their numbers and they showed up, got the result in the end. As for Hearts, big improvements needed. I will see you back at the house for a full match day review. We're back. It is currently 1 o'clock in the morning eh, and I'm going to do my review for you guys just so I get the video out at 8am. So, can of Red Bull, you just don't see the half of it, the work we put in. But, yeah, tonight, very disappointing. Robbie Nielsen's men, Robbie Nielsen's tactics, not good enough. Um, but, Gorgie boys, you guys were impressive, what a march that was. And in the Shandon as well, the atmosphere was absolutely rocking. I thoroughly enjoyed my night. Just a shame we couldn't get a goal, never mind. Uh, good performance, but you know how we do. Let's get into the review. I'm going to review the Tyne Castle match day atmosphere. Let's go. First of all, we start with football. The most important part of the game, as I always say, football was terrible. It was an absolute dreadful watch from the get-go. Robbie Nielsen's men failed to turn up and it looked as if it was from the tactics. Um, as I said during the game, uh, Fiorentina, they can't handle the high press. Um, the manager even said said that in the press conference in midweek. So what do Robbie Nielsen's men come out and do? They come out and sit back. It makes no sense at all. Um, and I don't blame the fans. Fans actually were leaving. Thousands of fans left before half time, only two 0 down. Um, but it was that bad the football that I understood what they were they were doing. Um, football. I'm going to give a three out of ten. For price, £26 was the amount I paid tonight. You are paying for the European football at the end of the day, um, even though it was a student ticket. I felt it was a wee bit pricey, because uh, it is UEFA Euro Europa Conference League and it wasn't Europa League or Champions League. So, on and on, I would probably give that a 7 out of 10 for price. In terms of atmosphere, so 
Fair play to the Gorgie boys. He's turned up. He's tried to make a difference. And to be honest with you, that was one of the best pre-match atmospheres I've been involved in. Uh, in the Shandon, wow. The place was rocking, absolutely bouncing. In the stadium as well, um, even going to the march, I actually get goosebumps at points just because how loud it was. You were impressive. And do you know what? It is there for the taking. If you want to do it, get yourself joined up. Get an ultras group growing. You've seen it at clubs, St Johnston, Mullerwell, all clubs that never used to have an atmosphere. They've worked hard at it. They've got a group together and it, it works. You're go going to get nickel wetters in every fan base. It is um, just the way things are. But if you just do what you want and do it well, get yourself organised. Hearts have got a massive support and it could work excellently. I would love to see an ultras group at Hearts. Um, but yeah, atmosphere tonight, I'm going to give a 7 out of 10 overall. Food. Good solid pie, quite spicy in terms of the pepper, I thought it was quite nippy, but I liked it. I'm going to give the pie an 8 out of 10. In terms of facilities, that stand is probably the best in the country, if not the, in fact, do you know what, it's the best stand in the country. The facilities are unbelievable. I've worked in the press box before and it's just second to none, uh, even in the stand as a fan today, just second to none. Outside of it, inside of it, if, when you've got rooftop bars, you know, it's magic. A uh, great wee stadium. And if you get an atmosphere pulled together, it could be an absolute fortress. I've been at Hearts Games before, um, working at them, and it is a fortress when things go their way. But just because of how compact it is. All in all, I'm going to give facilities a 10 out of 10. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've got this far, please do me the massive favour of voting for me in the football content awards down below. It takes two seconds and it'll make a massive difference to me. Voting closes on Sunday, so let's get it done quick. Hearts fans, you've been an absolute pleasure tonight. I forgot to add that in. Every single Hearts fan I spoke to tonight, you were a credit to the club. Um, had no problems at all. I heard a couple of wee stories that maybe Hearts fans weren't the best. Nah, proved absolutely wrong. I will be back. I am off to a massive game in the Championship on Saturday, a derby. I'm not going to give much more away than that, but I will see you there. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you when I see you. Until then, it's a goodbye from me.